not looking forward to this. So I'm going to start the prep work for my overseeding project. As you can see, the lawn is actually looking really good. But we want the lawn not just to look good, to be the best in the neighborhood. And the number one way to do that is by overseeding. Step one. Molo. If your existing turf is too tall, when you throw down your grass seed, you won't get good seed to soil contact. The second benefit of mowing low is when you do plant your grass seed, you're giving the new grass time to catch up to the existing turf. Last time I mowed, I mowed at three inches. It's been about a week, so the grass is maybe about five inches. I'm gonna take it down to three inches today, and I'm gonna gradually bring it down to an inch and a half. Also, don't forget to put the bagger on your mower. You're gonna to wanna to bag these clippings. You don't wanna mulch them back into the soil. The whole point of this project is to remove as much debris and as much thatch off the surface of the soil so you get that good seed to soil contact. So this is what the front lawn is looking like after cutting it to three inches and she is looking really good. The overseeding process is only going to stress the lawn out. We're going to mow it down to an inch and a half and we're going to stress it out completely. We're going to tear it down, but she's going to come back. We're going to bring her back. She's going to come back. She's going to be great. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. I wonder if the camera could pick this up, but this is the lawn at two and a half inches already starting to look stressed out. This is what the lawn is looking like at two inches. All right, guys, step one is complete. As you can see, the lawn is completely stressed out. Look at the mess. Good Come on. On to step two, deep thatching. This device right here is known as a deep thatcher. You're gonna need it to complete your overseeding process. You can either deep thatch or core aerate. You could do both, but you can't skip out on either or. It has to be one or the other. This model here is by Greenworks. It's available on Amazon for just over hundred bucks. I was able to find it on Facebook Marketplace for 75. You can find it on Facebook Marketplace. Do yourself a favor and pick it up. All right, so what is thatch and why do I need to remove it? When it comes to overseeding, you wanna make good seed to soil contact. And if you have a thick layer of thatch on top of the soil it'll prevent the seed from reaching the soil making that good contact so what is thatch thatch is basically that organic material that's on top of the soil that hasn't decomposed yet you got twigs leaves grass clippings every single day I feel the... every single day I feel the pleasure double out the work let's make it extra working so my mother get a rest yeah. Like I never know I'm best, yeah. Every single day I feel the pressure Diamonds in my eyes, I know I'm special Oh, I told her that I'd change But I don't think that I can and I told her I'd stay away from women and the deals But I'm sorry, girl, I can't All right, step two is complete. Finished deep thatching, got all that debris off the lawn, put the lawn under immense amounts of stress, and she is still looking green. Something casually You said it was a passion I'm a path to be Then they told me that I couldn't So I had to be Tell me what they really think about it now Used to hate it But I guarantee they're proud Alright guys, step three is done We finish air reading On to the star of the show Time to throw down some grassy. This is the RPR variety from Baron Brug. The number one thing you want to look at when you're looking at grass seed, you want to see the percentage of weed seed in the bag. This variety has 0.0% and other crop seed as well, 0.00%. You know that everything in this bag is 100% pure grassy. Oh, and you're not gonna find this bag at any Home Depot or Lowe's. You're gonna either have to order it from the Barenbrook website or Amazon. There's other websites that offer it as well. You'll be okay with getting a bag from Home Depot, but it's a lot of work. I want something that's gonna be elite.
All right, guys, we have just finished seeding. Now it's time to fertilize. As far as fertilizer goes, I'm gonna go ahead with this Scott's Triple Action Safe for Seeding. It comes with starter fertilizer and it comes with mesotrione, which kills existing weeds and acts as a pre-emergent to get those weeds that are gonna come up while the grass is germinating. one step closer to the end my grass seed is down I just finished fertilizing I'm gonna take it one step further I'm gonna go over the lawn with that here lawn roller to get that good seed to soil contact <laughs> All right, guys, I am up to the last step in the process. I even forgot what step number I'm up to, but we're going to cover the seed with some peat moss. The peat moss is going to retain moisture. It's going to keep the seed from washing away in the event of a heavy rain out. A thin layer of peat moss is going to keep the moisture on the seed to ensure proper germination. Shot is in the back, wanna run it back. We ain't turning back, we ain't done with that. She be showing cat, I'ma die by night. We ain't talking cat, we gon' run it back. Shot is in the back, wanna run it back. We ain't turning back, we ain't done with that. She be showing cat, I'ma die by night. We ain't talking cat, we gon' run it back. Run it back, run it back. And that's it guys, this project is done. And for the second year in a row, so am I. My sprinklers are set up. I do not have in-ground irrigation. This was step number, I don't even know. This is a long project, a lot of hard work, a labor of love. You have to love your lawn in order to go through a grueling grind like this. Just to recap, we mowed the lawn extremely low. We dethatched. We got all that debris off the surface of the soil. We core aerated, overseeded with elite grass seed, threw down a starter fertilizer with the pre-emergent, covered the entire property with peat moss and the secret sauce, irrigation. So what's the next step? We wait. What's up guys it's been officially eight weeks since i renovated this lawn since we overseeded it's been about my sixth or seventh mow since that time and look at these results that green don't lie that's what we wanted that's exactly what we got trust the process and you will get results like this all right folks this lawn renovation is officially done as far as my neighbor i might have to do her lawn next year but that's for another video. Thank you for tuning in. If you liked the video, give me one of these. Lawn Daddy, signing out.